In today's lesson, we will work on our task 2 writing course and we will continue our structures and analysis with opinion and personal view as a structure. Well, uh, as you know, we should start with introduction and for introduction, we have to understand our topic and the topic is yeah. coins and paper money will soon be replaced by credit and bank cards. Eventually, we will have a cashless society which will be safer and more convenient for everyone. To what extent? Do you agree or disagree? As you see, in an opinion personal view, as a question, they just ask about your opinion. They say, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Or do you agree or disagree? And as you see in this kind of situations, you just have to just uh, pick one side and just give arguments to support the sides. And now let's just uh, don't waste time and move on to the introduction of this structure paragraph and introduction paragraph of this essay. As you see in introduction, we have to do two things mostly. We have to paraphrase the topic and we have to give plan, outline of the essay because the person who is checking our essay will not be able to see this question and will not get overall understanding of the question and the task at hand if we don't give what we are talking about and what we are going to discuss in body paragraphs. And now let's just paraphrase the topic together. And uh, here, uh, this is coins and paper money. So uh, as you see, I wrote coins and banknotes. Well, I wrote, I had to write coins and banknotes because we don't have like virtually a uh, great word for, or a really appropriate word or really suitable word, exact synonym for the word coins. You can find it in Google, but it will be most probably, someone came and entered, uh, just interrupted, uh, which will be, not suitable at all, so that's why I just left coins at it is, as it is, and I just instead of paper money, I just wrote banknotes here, as you see, and instead of will, I just said are going to be. So replace it. I just didn't change the word replace here, but I didn't have any um, word in my mind there. Well, let's just say. I got it will be exchanged to cards. So we can just simply say exchange it to cards. And as you see, instead of eventually, I just use the word ultimately. And instead of saying we, I said humanity will be living in, instead of will have, I said will be living in continued form. In a cashless society, I just didn't change anything because there's no need to change and we don't have synonyms, which in turn, I just add added here, this part, in turn leads to, the reason why it's lead to, because it is will lead to, right? If I just wrote, for wrote S initially, I but just erase it because it's just uh, will lead to. And increase safety instead of safer and more convenient for everyone, will lead to increase safety and convenience for everyone. So increase it, safety is new word and convenience here, new word, and I don't think that humanity will be living. So as you see, humanity, I said all people, mankind. So I'll just erase this part because I was writing it mindlessly. I was thinking about something else. So this is our paraphrasing the topic part, done. And then we have to give our plan, outline. Wow, I made a mistake again. Wow, this was bad, sorry for this. And so we have to write here, it's actually two. Or so-called thesis statement. People say it's thesis statement, fancy name. If you if you want, you can just tell, call it this name. But they just say simply your opinion. You have to give your opinion, opinion there. So as you see, uh, you have to give your opinion, and then there well, we have uh, two structures. Well, the simplest way is saying I agree or disagree. Yes. 
saying it, right? So, but you have to take into account that this is the simplest way of giving it and it will give you like around 5.5 because uh, there are two ways, well, there are two reasons why it's so bad and the first reason is, is I and you have to know that you have to use impersonal style if you want to get higher score. So I'll just write impersonal there and you have to know what is this impersonal style thing. So team, you just put impersonal. If you don't know, you just ask me what is impersonal. I'll just put it, okay? I'll just send it to you. Impersonal style and just agree, agree, just present simple. It's just not right. It's not great way of giving sentences. It's just too simple with this idea. And instead of this, I'll just give you better structure below it. And I say, So I said, this hypothesis, this is a hypothesis, would appear to be, so here, the reason why it would appear to be uh, just a same personal style, we will see why it is uh, rather sensible. Instead of, well, the reason why we're saying sensible and the meaning of the word sensible is, it's logical. And then we have to give our plan. So this was our opinion. So as you see, this is perfect in the topic part. This is our opinion, your opinion, or thesis statement. And then uh, you have to give your plan. So as you see, I said this will be investigated in depth with numerous logical arguments in favor of the idea. And here, instead of this, we could just simply use which, which means that, well, this is uh, linking, structural linking, linking sentences. So they should be some kind of screenshotted images which you have to put there, okay, team? So you have to ask this thing from me too, looking sentences. So we have to put it there for a person, for a person who is watching to understand it clearly. So this will be investigated in depth, we, we, meaning that we will, uh, we're saying that we will discuss it in depth with numerous logical arguments. We're gonna give arguments, right? We're gonna give two, three arguments, not logical arguments in favor of the idea. In favor of the idea, meaning that we are gonna support this idea and we agree with this uh, opinion here. And as you see, this is your plan or outline. And uh, you can just use a structure for every single opinion essays. This will be your uh, structure for second and third sentences. And this can be used everywhere. You just say this hypothesis would appear to be rather sensible if you agree with it. Or, unsensible if you disagree with it, which will be investigated in depth with numerous logical arguments in favor of the idea. And now if you understood everything in introduction, let's move on to body paragraph structure of our essay. But before moving on to body paragraph, we have to come up with ideas, we have to brainstorm the topic. Actually, you have to brainstorm the topic before you start even writing your introduction part, but in this part, we decided to brainstorm the idea after writing introduction. Now, uh, when it comes to brainstorming the idea, now you have to find the arguments for why you agree with this idea and disagree with this idea. And now, uh, you just have to pause the video and try to find arguments that, well, that I agree with well, uh, you have to come up with ar arguments why you should agree or disagree with the idea and you have to take into account that even if you agree in your in a real life, if you have uh, ar arguments, if you have more ideas for disagreeing with the idea, you have to definitely disagree because the, uh, well, the person who's checking your essay will not care about whether you agree or disagree or they will not judge you 
they will just look at the validity of your argument. And if your arguments are valid, it doesn't matter whether you agree, agree or disagree with the idea. And now let's just find out what we can do here and uh, just pause the video and uh, for five minutes try to come up with your own ideas. And now, uh, where if you have finished this part, I'm just gonna come up with my own ideas too. I'm just gonna think because I don't know ideas. I'm just uh, here. I'm just improvising too. I don't have any ideas, so I'll just have to think about it. So uh, the first argument will be probably technological innovation. Technological innovation. Second arg argument will be. Safety reasons, we can say. Third reason, maybe convenience, because they talked about it. Convenience, we have to just uh, talk about it. We have to explain it. And disagree. Threat of surveillance, maybe, or just simply, I'll just explain it myself. Uh, distress. Distress. Parts. Parts. No infrastructure. So uh, here, well, let's just uh, talk about this part only. And here, uh, if we, when, and not if, when we start our uh, videos for explanation of ideas, topics, I'm just gonna present you these things, these, um, what can I say, so-called ideas in this part with explanation, and let me just explain you this part. And here, uh, here we have technological innovation. And the technological innovation means that we are uh, finding new and newer, newer and newer ways of uh, tr transaction, newer and newer way of interaction, uh, such as, well, credit cards, bank cards, is that, or debit card. And this will continue into the future and which it will lead you to the fact that um, that will be more convenient and safer. These are almost the same, so uh, safer. And well, let's just look at the safety and the convenience part. Well, safety uh, in terms of uh, the threat of criminal, like threat of uh, crime in or intrusion into your daily lives. Because, for example, if you have a big pile of money, uh, the person or someone is going to see this, and not everyone that will see this will be reliable and they may want to possess the things that you own and they may just simply rob you or simply uh, they may threaten your life so that you will give this money to them or you will just show the way to your safe and in this convenience part you just uh, imagine you're in uh, well you're in a bank and you have to give you have to or you're in a big uh, well, supermarket you have to pay like a lot of money like five million sums in Uzbek sums and it will be uh, way harder if you have cash in small notes uh, just small amounts of notes and it will be uh, very inconvenient or it's inconvenient to carry them because you can have your card credit card bank card with your like pocket always in your pocket always or even you can just uh, well uh, connect it to your phone and you can just make this transactions through phone and this will be convenience part and when we disagree the reason why it's agree is it's a threat of surveillance and they start to distrust toward governments governments meaning that uh, people will always distrust the government people will want to uh, find ways to avoid government surveillance for example look if you're wiring money to someone if you're transferring money from one place to another place government is watching you always 24 7 but if you're using paper money they will not be able to uh, track every single thing that you did so that's why there will be some smart people who just don't want the government to uh, looking after them running after them or surveilling checking them that's why uh, the well importance of significance of uh, paper money will not uh, wane 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 uh, it's v-a-i-n so you have to learn this word so I'll just write it here. Okay. I hope I'm right here, vain, in the future. And the second part is infrastructure because, well, if you're living in a city, of course you can use bank cards or credit cards or debit cards. But if you're living in rural, some rural areas, 
uh, not only in your own country, but around the world, they don't have sometimes electricity. It's just crazy. They don't have uh, their uh, equipment for taking mo your money. Uh, they will not have any infrastructure or they will not want to take your money if it's in credit card. They want your paper money, so that's why uh, this is one reason for disagreeing.